Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is McPato and this is McPato PC. And today I'll be answering an important question for anyone considering mounting their GPU vertically or anyone who has mounted their GPU vertically and is wondering this question. And the question is, does using a PCI Express riser cable cost you any performance <clears throat> as opposed to plugging your video card directly into the motherboard? Uh, I've read a lot about this on different forums and so on. And I thought, well, why not try it myself? So I've done that for you guys. It's going to be a brief video. And uh, if you have any questions about settings or specs or motherboards or whatever I'm using, I'll put all that stuff in the description below to save time. I'm not going to cover it all right now. Um, but yeah, without uh, wasting any more time, I'm going to show you guys a picture of the specific PCI Express cable I'm using. It's a thermal take. Uh, shielded cable 200 millimeters in length and available on Amazon as well as probably your favorite computer retailer uh, depending where you live that obviously will change but I think uh, anywhere in the world well <laughs> it's probably a bold claim most places Amazon probably carries this cable so without wasting any more time I'm gonna show you guys a picture of that cable a couple charts and I'll talk over the charts and then I'll probably give you a summary afterwards and that'll be it. All right, here we go. All right, so here we have our first chart showing synthetic tests. On the left, obviously, you have the PCI Express riser cable results and on the right, we have the motherboard results. I tested five synthetic tests Heaven, Superposition, Firestrike, Time Spy, and Geekbench 4. And as you can see, everything is very much within the margin of error. So I would say <clears throat> there's no uh, obvious performance loss using a PCI Express cable when running synthetic tests. What about gaming tests? Well, let's take a look at that next. All right, I'm moving along. We've got our gaming test results. Uh, for this chart, we've still got our PCI riser cable results on the left. Motherboard results are on the right. And the number closest to the title of the game on either side is your average FPS. The number next to that is the maximum FPS, followed by the minimum FPS furthest away from the title of the game. And looking at this, we can see pretty consistent results, very much in line with uh, margin of error. Probably the one exception there would be GTA 5, which actually performed better using the PCI riser cable. However, this is uh, I wouldn't read too much into this, as very likely you'd get the same experience based on the rest of the test results. So I'm not too sure what happened in this specific case, but um, I wouldn't read too much into it. I doubt the cable adds magical FPS to your game. All right, moving along to the conclusion. All right, guys, we're going to wrap up the video here. I think the charts speak for themselves. Everything was within the margin of error. There appears to be no performance loss when using the thermal take PCI Express riser cable as opposed to plugging your video card directly into the motherboard. I should add that this is a part one of two video. In the next part, I will examine the thermal take cable, which costs again about $40 compared to a cheap cable I found on Amazon, which costs about $10 to see if the experience is the same or if there is performance or other issues uh, when using a cheap PCI Express cable as opposed to a uh, more expensive cable. And I will say, I know the results already. You guys are gonna wanna tune in for that if you're considering buying a cheap cable definitely some good information and that should be coming about this time next week maybe a day or two later maybe a day or two earlier I've got the, the data already I just have to compile it into a video and uh, we'll get that to you guys next week um, just want to add a few things here aside from the the test results few other things to consider when using a PCI Express cable are definitely the length of the cable and uh, perhaps depending on your case situation 
you may run into uh, more heat with your GPU if it's up against the panel or some glass and it doesn't have enough room to breathe. I'm using the Thermaltake View 71 Tempered Glass Edition. It does a great job with airflow. I've got a ton of fans and uh, I tested it. There's no difference for me in temperature, vertical or horizontal. So definitely that might be an issue for someone else, but for me it's not. And I'm also using a reference card from AMD for the Vega 64. So it's a blower style fan as opposed to a more open shroud with the dual or triple fan design. Uh, so definitely that expels a lot more heat out of the case. But those two things aside, I would, I would confidently say that you can expect no performance loss with this cable. And if that's something you guys are looking to do, for $40 I would recommend the Thermaltake uh, PCI Express riser cable, which is linked in the description below. And I am not sponsored by Thermaltake in any way. I paid for the cable myself, and my opinions are my own. Alright guys, tune in again next week. Consider subscribing or tune in next week for the part two of this video and uh, probably one more video coming before the end of the month with a bit of an announcement for McPato PC. Sort of a big deal and uh, we'll get that to you guys in about a week or two also. Thanks again for tuning in, thanks for supporting the channel and I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.